guys, what's up? Sherry here from No Effects Given Crew. How's it going? Sherry here. Um, so I just wanted to get a couple messages out to you. First of all, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of my heart for all your donations and your love and support that you've shown me. Um, I wouldn't be here without you guys and I wouldn't be doing this without you guys. So thank you so much. Um, also, I just wanted to mention that um, I'm going to be putting out the Twin Flame readings and the Yin Yang readings earlier uh, for the patrons. And then uh, also the extended readings for the Patreons out earlier. So I'm going to be catering to them a little bit more than YouTube. Um, but I s will try to give you um, a full comprehensive uh, reading. To be a Patreon, basically you just click the link on uh, my home page here. And it will take you to uh, the Patreon page. And here... Um, by supporting me by um, you know pledging a dollar a month two dollars a month five dollars a month um, not only do you get great rewards from it but you're also helping me um, supporting me um, so that I can get my books out to you guys and the cards so it requires a you know a hefty um, down payment in order to get the cards out to you so um, I'm hoping you guys will help support me in that way but also you know um, it, it allows me to um, continue to produce great videos for you guys weekly so the the first tier would be getting the twin flame reading early and that's a pledge for a dollar so you can also receive this early bird offer if you are a member as well so in the member section, um, I will be uh, linking the videos in this little player here. Okay, so um, so you can get that in two sites. So for two dollars a month, you get the extended version of the Twin Flame reading. So the third tier is the extended reading. Uh, for all of them, the yin yang, the twin flame, all for five dollars. So you can also purchase these extended readings on my website. If you click this link above here, go to extended readings, and it'll open you to the store. So um, I'm not doing any private reading for a while, so I can concentrate on my book and the cards and getting those published out to you. Um, so I've taken out that section and I've replaced it with um, the extended versions. So, you know, clicking on any of these will allow you to buy each reading individually or you can buy all three. So individually it's 1111, um, all three together is 2222. So once you've purchased um, the reading, I will get an email and then I will send you uh, a link to an unlisted video uh, through YouTube. I'll also start doing the zodiac signs, so I'll be doing twin flame readings um, for specific zodiac signs. So um, there'll be 12 videos put out. Now I'm going to start doing them once a month first, and we'll see how um, how it goes. And then you know if it is received well, then I'll start doing them maybe biweekly. We'll see. So yeah, a little bit of changes. Um, I'm also not going to be doing uh, private readings for a while uh, so that I can concentrate on the book and the cards and getting those out to you guys. Uh, again, thank you guys for your love and support. Um, my heart is just full of love for you guys. All right, cheers. Hi guys, how's it going? Sherry here. Mm, I hope it's not going to be that yellow. Hi guys, how's it going? Sherry here. Um, how? <laughs> so I just have a couple of messages that I wanted to get out to you guys. Um, first of all, <laughs> God. Hi guys, how's it going? Sherry here from No Folks Giving Crew. How's it? 
Oh my God. Hello, Divine Masculine. How is it going? Uh, so this is going to be a Yang reading for um, April the 1st until the 7th. So I haven't decided what kind of spread I want to do. You know what? I haven't used these cards for a long time, so let's go ahead and use them. Um, this is Terra Luminati. So I think I'm going to do... I'm being guided to do a split divine partnership. So I think I'm going to use different cards for different rows, okay? So um, we'll pull the first three cards here. So this is how you view the relationship, what you're resisting, um, message from your higher self. And I believe this is the Witch's Tarot. Let me just look at the book. Yep, the Witch's Tarot. Come yeah. Um trying to read who it's by. Dugan. Okay, so this will be for the past position, the present, and the future. Okay, and this one is a deck by Eller Shaw. And it's I think it's just called the Easy Tarot. Okay, this will be the message for the universe, or from the universe, um, your external environment, and what you fear. And I think I'm just going to pull a random card from this uh, Gilded Tarot for the bottom of the deck. And I almost looked at it. I don't think we need to look at it right this moment. All right, so... I'm just going to give my deck here a little shuffle just in case I want to pull a clarifier. So this will be the basic reading. Um, I'll be posting this to my website as well as Patreon. And then I will record the extended reading afterwards, which again I'll, I'll post to uh, the Patreons. All right, so let's begin. So, how do you view the relationship with the feminine? Five of Swords. So, you, you know, you just need to look at the picture to see what's kind of going on here. There's a sense that this person has won a battle, and there are people walking away. You know, they're kind of in disgust. They're, you know, he looks proud of himself standing there with all those swords. You know, so he's winning at all cost. So this card is also about pointing your finger at somebody, um, pushing someone's buttons, you know, very um, negative energy that's coming from the mind. So that's how you're feeling about the relationship. So I'm going to just pull a clarifier. Eight of Swords. So more swords, mental stuff, thoughts, right? So the Eight of Swords is the mental prison you feel locked out of this connection and it's oppressive energy coming from the outside so something is making you feel this way but you you hold the key to your own prison so you feel locked out of the relationship you feel um that there have been some battles some arguments maybe some negative thoughts swirling around in your mind um that is keeping you locked out and if you watch the twin flame reading um the de the feminine was definitely being closed off um, in this week's reading. So, yeah, the mess, you're definitely picking up on that vibration for sure. Okay, so what are you resisting? The Queen of Cups. So, the Queen of Cups could represent a water sign, um, but really, this represents an emotional connection, a deep loving bond with somebody. Uh, feminine and this could be your energy as well so this is um, a double emotional card right so all Queens are water and you know cup is water as well so um, there is some very deep emotions here that are being felt but it's in your resisting position so she's also very intuitive as well and that theme of using your intuition was very strong uh, in the Twin Flame reading, you got the third eye chakra twice. 
So message from your higher self is another sword. So the Prince of Swords is the Knight of Swords. So you can see there's, <coughs> hold on a moment. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, I'm still getting over my cold here. Um, so the Knight of Swords is a very chaotic energy. You can see, you know, it's very windy. Um, there's a lot of chaos, a lot of fighting, battling energy there. Now, the knight is, could represent somebody who is a thrill seeker, who is um, a social butterfly. They love to talk. They love to take action. But, you know, they fight to fight. They don't, you know, they'll fight for anybody, basically. But they are the people's champion. Now, your higher self is telling you to move forward. And that was another theme in the Twin Flame reading. The overall message from the universe was the charioteer, take action. So your higher self is asking you to move forward, but to do it in a very controlled way. Don't do it, you know, um, with guns a-blaring, basically. If there's something you need to say, if there's something you want to communicate with, the tw with your divine feminine, um, your higher self is telling you to take action, but do it in a very um, controlled way. So what is the message from the past? A two of cups. Wow. Okay. So this is spiritual union. Um, this is making a, a, a commitment to your twin flame, but it's also recognizing your twin flame. So the heart chakra is activated, which elevates the consciousness. So you're coming from a very loving space and we got this connection with the queen of cups. So, you know, you, you feel locked out, but you are resisting moving forward and taking action or connecting with the feminine. Um, there is definitely a deep connection there that you've recognized in the past. And in the twin flame reading, you can actually feel that vibration as well. You get the four of wands in the near future, which is a confirmation of a twin flame connection. So in the present position, we have the shadow side. So this is the moon, and it represents your shadow side. You know, all those things that you're left hidden in the dark, right? You can see um, this cloaked person in the background, and they're coming towards this couple, and the couple are hiding, right? So this could be an avoidance card, but really, you know, there's a sense of running away from something that you're afraid of. You're not facing your fears. So that's in your present position. So let me just pull a clarifier for that. The Two of Wands. The Feminine actually got this in her past position for the Twin Flame connection. So you, you feel this crack or this door open, opening. Um, you, you also had the Ace of Wands in your past position. So this is, would be a natural progression from the Ace to the Two. So this could mean that you are seeing that there's a problem, that there's something that is, that needs to be resolved. Um, maybe you're in an environment that is creating this, this sense that you need to withdraw. Um, somebody may be triggering your shadow side to come out. And so the door is open. Um, so you can embark on a new journey, a new spiritual journey. Um, and, you know, really face your fears. So we have you locked behind bars up here, and here there's a door, a, a potential door that is open. Because remember, this is a confirmation card, right? It isn't fully open yet. It could be advice from the universe to walk through that door. And you can see that, you know, your higher self is telling you to do something, you know, to, to cut away those fears, your shadow side, to face that monster in the background. Okay, so what's in the future position is the Ten of Pentacles. Interesting. Uh, the feminine got this um, in the extended part of the reading. She got the Ten of Pentacles um, in the present position, coming from the past. It was attached to the Two of Wands. So there is this idea of a long-term goal. Um, a sense of stability, home, everyone's being looked after, um, that 
come is kind of coming in from the past and um, now it's making itself known in your future the Queen of Pentacles also showed up a couple of times so there's this sense that you you want a home that is safe you want stability you're not getting that right now in the present moment you feel locked out of this connection but if you want this you need to fight for it and it looks to me like you do essentially so I'm just gonna pull one more card here the ten of pentacles again double whammy there is home is in your future you just need to walk out that door and face your fears okay so message from the universe wow the empress so this tells me that you know the universe knows that you know who your twin flame divine feminine is um she is home and to embrace that you know and show her how you feel about her create that loving space that welcoming space where you know everyone's provided for and just enjoying life you feel grounded she's another grounded energy she's also a card of manifestation as well so the universe is asking you to embrace the divine feminine and um, or for you to embrace the feminine side of yourself okay so what is in the external environment wow emperor so we got the emperor and the empress right beside each other um, so what is that telling me the emperor in your external environment so either this could be a you know a boss somebody with authority um, somebody that is making you do things maybe you don't want to do or this could be your energy is there to embody you know this emperor energy is there for you to embody but you're not fully you know um, embracing the emperor the emperor is all about action as well he takes control of situation he directs people so I'm just gonna pull a clarifier for that what do you mean seven of swords so what I'm picking up from this is there's somebody in your environment the seven of swords that is making you feel that you can't trust them you know that you're being you know there's these secrets that are being kept from you and so maybe you view the divine feminine as the emperor somebody who is you know um, you can't knock them down you know they're, they're in power and so you're kind of questioning their motives with the seven of swords so I'm going to pull a clarifier here for the empress the devil interesting so you know this is a message from the universe so the ego is a chain a codependent relationship addiction so this card was a major theme for the feminine side overall there were you know the message from the universe was for her to unchain herself from um, like I said either an addiction or a dependent relationship so maybe she is showing her ego side projecting this ego side of herself and the universe is asking you to look behind the mask see the true divine feminine don't allow your ego to put nasty thoughts in your mind you know you're locked out because you believe that you are you can take action to free yourself to cut whatever chain you know is holding you back and I mean the same goes for the feminine as well obviously but you see that there's an issue with thoughts you know this could also be the ego could be you as well you know you're getting this energy of um, nastiness throughout your reading so yeah look beyond the mask see the feminine for who she truly is, is a strong strong 
message that I'm getting here. What do you fear? You fear the seven of pentacles. You fear waiting. You fear that um, if you invest in the future with the feminine, it might not work out, but you're getting a ten of pentacles twice in the future. That harvest is coming, so there's nothing to fear. You know, true love is worth waiting for. Okay, so let's look at the overall energy. It's, wow, the emperor again. So, um, for that week, that coming week, you're going to be in the emperor energy and you're dealing with an emperor in your environment. And the message from the universe is to possibly be the empress. Um, be in that gentle, loving, nurturing energy rather than a forceful um, emperor, maybe. Um, or, you know, be the emperor and take action, right? Um, discover the truth for yourself. Don't allow those fears to consume you and take action because there's abundance um, and stability, long-term stability in your future. You know, you felt this twin flame connection in the past and it looks like it's going to be manifested in, in the future. So, yeah, don't let petty arguments and negative thoughts stop you. Okay, so I'm going to pull two cards for a message from the universe. So I'm using Miss and Mermaids. So for the masculine first, Absinthe from Mermaid. That's interesting because that's the card that the feminine got. Almost, I'm almost thinking that that's hers. Oh, we got this card is in reverse. So, Shipwreck Siren for the Feminine. Okay, so number 26. Languid with barely the strength to lift my head. I indulge in more. My decadent drink, my viridian vice. I crave more. I succumb to more. I am myself no more. A comatose green mermaid is draped in a toxic stream of bottles, skulls, and poisons. She is drugged and lethargic, a slave to the torpid addiction. She seems at risk of being washed away at a moment's notice. So the meaning is beware of dependency. Absinthe mermaid has wallowed in her addiction for too long. She has become languid. You have also spent too long immersed in an addiction or dependence. Addiction and dependence saps one's energy and robs one of vitality and strength. Something in your life, a substance, an obsession, or an unhealthy relationship is draining your life essence and needs to let it go. Um, seek assistance from a trusted friend, a wise person in your community, or a professional to help you rid your, you of your unhealthy attachment before it's too late. Once you have escaped, reevaluate your life and take stock of your frailties. What led you down the path of addiction and dependence in the first place? What steps can you take to avoid stumbling down the rabbit hole again? So this is the overall message from the universe. And remember that the Empress and the Ego came in in the universe position. Um, you know, with the sense of try to understand... Um, that codependent chain or whatever it is um, is being let go of by the feminine or needs to be let go of by you. It's, um, you know, the, the line between feminine and masculine is really blurred in this reading, which is, you know, good because it, it shows me that you're actively trying to balance both aspects of yourself. You know, we are both yin and yang. One side is more dominant than the other. So, yeah, um, you know, since it's the same card that the feminine got in her reading, um, I'm just feeling, you know, try to have compassion, you know, if the feminine is going through a difficult time. Um, 
and you know um, if it's you that is dealing with the addiction or what have you be loving to yourself right um, don't overindulge um, you know if you're drinking too much you know the, it's like you're drinking to forget or to feel better to make yourself numb um, but really you know that problem is always going to be there you're just avoiding it you're not facing it okay so the feminine got shipwreck siren in reverse okay sing me siren of those lustfully depraved of gluttony excitement and vanity displayed sing to me siren of excess and greed of sl slothful indulgence and heady mead sing to me siren of debauchery and fame of riches and shiny things i'll stand fast yet again a deceptive siren smiles gently at her victims behind her however we see her true intention she is lured an unsuspecting ship's crew towards the jutting rocks of her island. She tests the wills of those she seeks and takes advantage of the weak and undisciplined. So in reverse, your rigidity is damaging. Add more flexibility to your life and you will add resilience. Even the strongest oak can break, bran break branches in the wind and likewise. You too can snap under the great pressure. Be like a bamboo or the willow. Bend with the changing winds and you will never crack okay so I just realized I didn't need to read this extra card <laughs> because this reading was for the divine masculine only um, but it further kind of confirms the fact that you know the ego is still playing its part and the feminine is being closed off to the connection she needs to open up and let you in Right, and so, you know, don't fall into, um, you know, this deep pit of despair. <laughs> you know, it's like a virus. If somebody's being closed off to you, don't be closed off to them. Be the opposite. Give them love. Give them understanding and compassion. All right, so I'm going to stop the video there. We're going, I'm going to do the extended part of this reading. Um, so I'm going to be pulling three cards, past, present, and future, for each position, and that will give us um, a deeper understanding of what's truly happening in this reading. All right. Cheers, guys.